here. This is Ange 13 and Brittany. I'm Jill Hopkins. This is uh, Vocalo. We're looking forward to the Winter Block Party. We're looking forward to 2020. And I feel like 2019 was a real good renaissance for women in hip hop. I got to uh, interview Rhapsody earlier uh, in the year, and she said this wasn't like this when she was when she was coming up. Labels would give one lady a chance, and then everybody else was left to fend for themselves. Do you think that uh, that being a woman and being in hip hop in 2019, 2020 uh, feels different than maybe when you picked up a mic the first time, Brittany? Um, well, I haven't been doing this for that long, so. So, but I mean, that's it's still you know st- change is ever ever happening. Do you do you feel as though it's more welcoming to you now than maybe when you were a kid thinking about doing it? Um, yeah, I would say so. I I, I didn't really like plan on doing music, mm-hmm. so I just kind of kind of like hopped into it. But um, yeah, I've, I've seen like plenty more like women around the scenes now, and it's it's real cool. And. I think that um, from the, the time that I started rhyme, uh, rhyme until now, it, it's a big difference because a lot of labels are like, we don't want women at all. Yeah. So to now see that they're not just saying it can only be one queen in the kingdom, it's awesome. Um, and that the queens aren't fighting to be seen as mm-hmm. the only queen is also awesome. That we can actually work together because we know now the ins and outs and the tricks and the conversations that they try to do, use to pit us against each other. So we're a lot smarter. And so because they know we're a lot smarter, now they're opening a lot more doors for more than one woman. So I think that's that's pretty awesome. To take the plush pressure off of your plate, to let you just be able to concentrate on the art that you make instead of the business of the art that you make, it's gotta, that's got to be a real nice feeling to have these days. Would you agree? No. <laughs> no. I mean, it, I, I was never satisfied with just being an MC. Yeah. Because... That's the smallest check. When we find out where the bigger checks come from, then you start to become a publisher, a producer, a writer, an arranger, because those are the bigger checks come in. So to just think you can sit back and just be comfortable in that seat, well, that seat has weak legs. So unless you can find you a couch where you can have a longer stay, then you have to be very mindful that there are a lot more spaces that we need to fill and to push ourselves along because it, it's not going to last forever. Yeah. So just to be still, that, that's, that's a no-go. Talk I, don't, I, I love having being able to do a, a lot of other things. It's, it's a must. It is a must. You can't, you've got to be like a one-man band. You've got to have like cymbals strapped to your knees and like a, right. a bass drum on your back. Is that something that you are conscious of when you're creating the, the idea that you have to kind of do a lot for yourself as opposed to having a large team? Oh, yeah. Like, learning how to do things for myself has been, like, something that I'm, you know, like, steadily pushing towards. Um, right now, I, like, I want to get more into, like, songwriting. Um, just not, like, writing for myself, but, like, writing for other people. And I know that, like, because I'm not just, you know, like an MC, that I can, like, write screenplays. I can do, you know, anything, really. Uh, when I when I was coming up back in the late 1700s, uh, women <laughs> in, in hip hop uh, fell very distinctly into two camps. Uh, we had your Salt and Peppas, and we had your Little Kims, and uh, there seemed to be a huge chasm, a huge gap between those two styles of performance. Do you think that that gap has closed in recent years, where women can kind of be free to express? all parts of themselves as opposed to like either the sexy side or the kind of like let's talk about sex be responsible side Brittany Um, I feel like it's it's way more open now like you can just be whoever you want to be because like everybody's not signed to a label you know so it's just like it's open for everybody yeah do you feel that way Ange well I think that the there are so many different women running around in one woman Mm-hmm. that it's great that we don't have to just stay that one woman that somebody else wants us to be. And I think when you allow a woman to express herself fully, you get a whole lot more out of giving you actually the world gets a whole lot more because now it's just not one side of the fence. Now you're looking at a cube with a whole bunch of sides mm-hmm. and you can choose who you want to be as opposed to falling into the mold that they said you could be. Yeah. Women can be women. I mean, we're everything. We're just not a mom. We're just not a sister. I mean, we are we are those and more. Yeah. And the industry had to. The internet 
gave us the okay, the, <laughs> the, the move into it. Because I think without the internet, we'd still have those, those two sides. You can either be Lauren or you can be Foxy. Yeah. So I'm just glad there's more Laurens and Foxys all over the place giving us a, a, a bit of Foxy and Lauren and Lauren and Foxy. We, you know, we can interchange who we are as opposed to being stuck in that one mold. I would go see that concert tour right now. <laughs> we'll wait for this, this siren to go. We'll wait for this emergency to be done. I hope everyone's okay. Uh, oh, I want to uh, talk about kind of the importance of not pulling the ladder up behind you as you climb. Is that something that you prioritize in your career, Ange? I, I, man, the ladder has to stay down because a lot of times I'm going to have to go back down that ladder. That's, so, that's and you, we, as women, we don't, it's not a lot of us at one time in a lot of places. So if you're pulling the ladder up and you're not letting other people, you know, walk up behind you, then a lot, that ladder can be completely torn down and never brought back up again, you know, even made available again. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important because I can't do it for the rest of my life. Somebody else has to take the reins. That's where you come in. Oh, no so, <laughs> you, you, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That's where you come in. I, I, I want to be able to go to the old folks' home and laugh at the shit we used to do. I'm sorry, at the things no, we I'm used sorry. to do. And I want you to be able to say, well, this is how I changed it a little bit. And then the person behind you, this is how I changed it a little bit. You never want to let that ladder fall. You never, because we have so much to give and, and a little time to do it. Yeah. Chicago's a really great microcosm of uh, hip hop at large, I think, right now. Do you feel, uh, Brittany, that the, the, the eyes of the world are, are watching Chicago and kind of looking to, to y'all and, and all of us for, for greatness? Um, possibly. Like, we've had some of the greatest artists, you know, in the world to come from here, so it's possible. What are you hoping, you know, when we sit down, me and you, we're having a, a, a drink in a much uh, fancier place with our pinkies out and things. What do you think we'll be talking about then? What do you think the next 10 years of your hip-hop career will bring? Um, man, I, I want to do everything that I can, like, possibly with writing. Because, um, like I said, I haven't, you know, well, the plan wasn't to do music. It just kind of, like, I fell into it. Yeah. And so I would like to, like, write books. I would like to write, like, movies. Like, anything I could do with a pen, like, write songs for other people. I want to do it all. So This youthful ambition. I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I mean, as life goes on, hopefully that ambition still grabs you. Because life is the son of a bitch that will try to choke the hell out of you and expect you to still be an MC. So... <laughs> Good luck. Well, let's let. Here's to 2020. Here's to taking that that licking and turning it into bars. <laughs> I appreciate you both sitting down with me. I'm Jill Hopkins. This is Vocal Radio. See you at the block party. Bye. <laughs>